Hi everyone, myself Harsha. Uh, I am Praga trainer at Harsha Trainings. In this video, I am going to explain about declare index rule and its purpose, how it is going to declaratively get executed. So after watching this video, you will have a clear idea about how Pega is going to identify the index table of a page list to store or to delete or to update the data in the index table. And before we proceed to the video, so we are going to start a new batch on Pega training starting from May 31st of this month and the timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST India timings. If you are any of one of your connections, if they are looking for Pega training, please reach out to us on the number that is displayed on this video. Before we proceed to watch the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions or any doubts related to Pega on any topic or if you are attending interviews and you need answers for any of the uh, difficult questions or scenario based questions that you have faced during interviews, please post your questions or doubts in the comment sections of this video. Under sysadmin category, it will be there. Anywhere you see that, declare index. Declare index. See, the declare index rule, the declare index rule also will get created. When you optimize page list properties, not only index table, class properties, but also a declare index rule will get created by default the definition will be done in the index table there will be a source page context commercial vehicles this is the page list right like this it will be there what is the class for the source page context cna data comma vehicle gala. cna data vehicle number. this is how and index class to write index dash vehicle let's say for example index class is created by the name okay index dash cna dash data dash vehicle this is the index table that has been created now a declare index rule gets created automatically which defines the page list and index class to write whenever this page list is been impacted any time the corresponding index table to be impacted is this one understand everyone all of you clear so declare index rule how it is going to help the process commander the moment the page list which is been indexed which has indexed properties and all the moment this page list is impacted in the work table inserted in the work table for example immediately that page list is used in declare index rule so declare index will fire you understand the concept of declare index rule right declare index rule gets automatically executed whenever there is a property value change or properties that are involved in the declared rules are being used so because the page list is used in declare declare index rule anytime if this page list is being saved into work table or any table saved into a table work table in our example this page list data is being removed from work table this page list data is modified in the work table immediately index rule will fire the index rule will tell the process commander the same action to be taken on the index table as well the respect to index table if this page list data is inserted into work table index table also data will be inserted if this page list is already present with some data i have updated the data then immediately the index rule will fire and the same action will also be done on index table also will get updated if this page list data is being removed from the work table in the blob then the same action index will fire the same action will reflect on the index table to delete the data from the table everyone understand so this is how a declarative index rule gets created and helps the process commander to identify the index table to perform the same action that is being done on the page list in the blob column. Everyone clear make sense? All of you online. Anyone has any questions, any doubts? Yes, clear. That is why declare index rule is declarative processing. You don't need to call it. You create it and mention a page list and index class to write. Whenever this page list is stored, the same action will get reflected in the index table. This is also forward chain. This is also forward chain. Other than this, index rule can also be used in some other way. That is, if I am creating a report definition rule by joining with joins, a report definition rule I am creating to fetch data from two tables. One table is work table, second table is index table while accessing the index table properties into work table report definition we can use declare index rule name as a prefix declare index rule name dot if you give 
properties of the index table will show up in the report. Report definition I am creating in I am creating in work class. You usually it will show work class properties only, right? But I want to access index class properties also. How to access? You need to use index rule name as a prefix dot. It will show index table class properties. I will practically show you that. And now we are going to work on. I mean, I, like tomorrow we'll do it. Anyhow, today time will not be sufficient. So tomorrow we are going to see optimizing page list properties. That is one practical, small practical. After that is been done, we are going to work on report definition rules, joins, like class joins. Um, what is the other one? Class joins, index joins, association, and sub reports. All these four we are going to work on. Out of all these four, one of the join is index join. That time we will make use of declare index role name as a prefix to access index class properties from the report which is there in work class by joining index join. So that is where you'll see a practical for uh, practical of using declare index role name as a prefix in the uh, joining part. Okay, so that we will start from tomorrow onwards. Okay, so every one of you. You have to be available to the class by 8:30 a.m. itself. I already informed this yesterday itself, and today morning also I have dropped a message. Okay, today morning, first half an hour, sorry, first 15 minutes, we discussed about uh, uh, revising activity, OVJ browse method, all that, and after that we started our session. But maybe from tomorrow we'll start from 8:30 itself. So from 8:30 everyone should be available in the session. Okay. So I will share the documents of today's session. And Asha Pegas. 590. One. One. May 18. MMHL today practical is there and theoretical property optimization property optimization for reporting this one and indexing right declare index or indexing Indexing in Pega means declare index only. Okay, everyone clear? Any other, any other documents? The example, everything will be there in the index. Number. Okay, you go through it, finish the all the practical whatever we have done, and also theory. We will continue tomorrow. But can we create a new rule set version in the meantime? Version I'll create. I'll create one version, third version, because I don't want to go with second version. See. Second version I want to lock. I, one more thing I'll tell you. There are so many uh, checkout rules. I want to check in all of these rules. At a time, if I want to check in all of the rules, I can go to bulk actions bulk. and select all, add some comment, and insert that comment for everything and start checking. Any rules which are there in version one, locked version, and we private edited, or OOTB rules we private edited, that will fail. We can open that rule and discard it. So this is called bulk check-in process. You can check in multiple rules at a time this way. Close this. There are three rules, it seems, which are OOTV. This is OOTV. I'll open and discard. What happened to this? Why it is not been? It is already not not checked. Begin insurance flow, discard. This one. This one. I'll create version three now by locking version two. Version two everywhere I will lock.
version one also i should i might i think i have opened version one while explaining rule resolution process right What about uh, organization rules? Eh? Framework calls I do. You can wind up for today. Harsha. Yes, please. Uh, sorry, I just missed how you did the bulk check in. Can you please show me the navigation if you don't mind? See, bulk check in means I already checked in all the rules. You, if you click on this, here you have bulk actions. Okay. It will show oh, okay. a pop up. Select all and then add a comment and then check in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 